video is about sum and product of the roots of a quadratic equation. In a quadratic equation, ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0 with roots r sub 1 and r sub 2. The sum and product of the roots are given by the following formulas. For the sum of the roots, we have r sub 1 plus r sub 2 is equal to negative b over a. Product of the roots, r sub 1 times r sub 2 is equal to c over a. So the values of a, b, and c are very important in getting the sum and the product of the roots given its equation. For number 1, we have x squared plus 8x minus 1 equals 0. Always remember, before getting the values of a, b, and c, make sure that the quadratic equation is written in standard form. In this example, it is already in standard form, so we can now get the values of a, b, and c. a is 1, b is 8, and c is negative 1. Using the formula mentioned earlier, sum of the roots is equal to negative b over a. Let us substitute. We have negative 8 over 1. And negative 8 divided by 1 is equal to negative 8. For the product of the roots, we have c over a. Substitute the values of c and a, we have negative 1 over 1. And negative 1 over 1 is equal to negative 1. Again, the sum of the roots of the given quadratic equation is negative 8. And the product of its roots is negative 1. Now, ang technique po dito, kapag ang value po ng a is 1, para makuha ang sum, kunin ang value ng b at i-multiply sa negative. In this case, we have 8. So, negative times 8, we have negative 8. Sa product of the roots naman po, kapag ang value ng A is 1, kunin lang po ang value ng C and that will be the product of its roots. In this case, the value of C is negative 1. That's why the product of the roots is negative 1. Ulitin ko po, applicable lang po kung ang value ng A is 1. Number 2, we have 6x squared minus 18x plus 4 is equal to 0. A is 6, B is negative 18, C is 4. For the sum of the roots, we have negative B over A. Substitute, we have negative of B is negative 18 over A is 6. We have two signs here, negative and negative. Combining them, we have positive 18 over 6. 18 divided by 6 is positive 3. And that will be the sum of the roots. Next, product of the roots, we have C over A. Substitute, C is 4, A is 6. 4 over 6, when simplified, the answer is 2 thirds. Sum of the roots of 6x squared minus 18x plus 4 equals 0 is 3. And then the product of its roots is 2 over 3. Given the sum and product of the roots, we can form the quadratic equation. This time po, given ang roots, kukunin natin ng sum and then yung product, gagawa naman tayo ngayon ng isang quadratic equation. Kung nung mga nakaraang lesson po, given ang quadratic equation, hinanap natin yung values ng x or yung solutions or yung roots. This time, given na po yung roots or yung mga values ng x, hahanapin naman natin yung quadratic equation. So, reverse process na po ang gagawin natin. So, using this equation, we have x squared minus the sum of the roots times x. 
plus the product of the roots equals 0. For example, number 1, the roots are negative 4 and 3. Actually, there are two methods on how to write a quadratic equation given its roots. But in our case, we will be using the concept of sum and product of the roots. So we have negative 4 and 3 get the sum. When we say sum, it is the answer in addition. So our operation here is addition, negative 4 plus 3. Use the rules in adding integers. Unlike sign, you have to subtract. So we have negative 1. Product, unlike signs, the result will be negative. So negative 4 times 3 is negative 12. Using our equation x squared minus the sum times x plus the product is equal to 0. Now, let us substitute what is the sum of the roots. The sum is negative 1. And then the product is negative 12. Let us simplify this one. Negative times negative 1 is positive 1x. And positive times negative 12 is negative 12. So we have x squared plus x minus 12 equals 0. So again po, kapag ang numerical coefficient ng x is 1, hindi na po natin kailang isulat yung 1. Ang ilitin lang po natin yung naging process. Negative and negative is positive. And positive times negative is negative. Next, number 2. We have negative 1 half, comma, 2 fifth. Again, ang given po natin are the roots of the quadratic equation. And then, yung quadratic equation po ang nawawala. We have to find its sum. So, negative 1 half plus 2 fifth is equal to... Since magkaiba po ang denominators sa ating fractions, gagawin po natin silang similar fraction. So, we have... Negative 5 over 10 and 4 over 10. So, ang technique lang po, negative 1 times 5, negative 5. 2 times 2, which is 4, divided by 2 and 5, which is the least common multiple of 2 and 5, which is 10. Simplifying this, we have negative 1 over 10. Product, we have negative 1 half times 2 fifth. Multiply the numerator to numerator over denominator times the denominator. We have negative 2 over 10. We can get the simplest form of negative 2 over 10 as 1 over 5. Pero po, kung gusto natin mas madali pong mahanap ang quadratic equation, mas maganda kung same na po ang denominator ng sum and product. So again, sum is negative 1 over 10, product is negative 2 over 10. Following again our equation, substitute the sum and the product. The sum is negative 1 over 10 and the product is negative 2 over 10. Negative and negative is positive and positive times negative is negative. So, the equation is x squared plus 1 over 10x minus 2 over 10 is equal to 0. For us to eliminate the denominators, we need to multiply the whole equation by the least common multiple of the denominator. Since we have same denominator, we just need to multiply the equation by 10. So, 10 times x squared is 10x squared. 10 times 1 over 10x is, you have to cancel 10, so the answer will be x. 10 times negative 2 over 10, same process, cancel 10, so the answer will be negative 2. 0 times 10 will be 0. So the equation is 10x squared plus x minus 2 is equal to 0. In our third example, sum and product are given. So, 
So we just have to substitute the sum and the product in our equation. So we have x squared minus the sum is 0 plus the product is negative 16. Simplifying this equation, we have x squared minus 16 is equal to 0. We don't have a linear term since the numerical coefficient or the sum is 0. And positive times negative is negative. And for our last example, sum is 2 thirds and the product is 4 fifths. Substitute in our equation, we have x squared minus the sum which is 2 thirds and the product which is 4 fifths. We have x squared minus 2 third x plus 4 fifth is equal to 0. The denominators here are 3 and 5. Think of the least common multiple of 3 and 5. So let's start natin sa 3. Ang mga multiples ng 3, we have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. Sa 5 naman, we have 5, 10, 15, 20. So may common sa kanila which is? 15. So, i-multiply natin both sides by 15. 15 times x squared is 15x squared. 15 times negative 2 third x is, so I'm going to teach you a technique on how to multiply this. 15 times negative 2 is negative 30 divided by 3 is negative 10. And then, copy the variable x. So, we have negative 10x. Next, 15 times 4 fifth. 15 times 4 is 60 divided by 5. The answer is 12. So, positive 12. And 0 times 15 is 0. So, the equation is 15x squared minus 10x plus 12 is equal to 0. So, if you have any question about the sum and the product of the roots of a quadratic equation, write your question in our comment.